The best time to write. The best time to write. The best time to write. Is now. Is now. Now. The best place to write. The best place to write. The best place to write is here. Is here. Is here. The best person to write. The best person to write. The best person to write. Is you. Is you. Is you. And before we get into the open mic, Asriel Johnson has an important announcement! Yay! Yay. So I'm Azrael Johnson, founder and director of Writing Nights. Um, as many of you know, I've been looking for a way to make the poetry scene more vibrant and more appealing to the casual observer. Um, I think i finally come up with a way to blow the roof off of the poetry scene. Uh-oh. Can you, can you lower volume? I have to stop the glass, and it's not loud. Come on. Now, something, something, we're going to have to work on this budget, okay? Because yeah. this yeah. is not going to be enough for the sound. Wait, like, you, you do realize uh, money follows the budget, right? I, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm not even like So, you are going to have a boost, right? Yeah, everyone, welcome to uh, Daria Quinn. Howdy, folks. Hey. So, let me say a little bit of the poetry thing. See, for a long time now, we've had a problem with the attendance. We've got like 12 people here. This is actually good for one of these shows. And we gotta do something about it. We seriously need to do something about that. And of who better to be able to do something about that than me, Daria Queer. <clears throat> Writing night, queer feminist, all around creative genius. Okay, white honey. <laughs> Excuse me? Dial down the ego just da, da, a little da, bit. Da, 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 da. You're gonna say poetry? I Well, it needs saved from something, otherwise it would become false. What? I think we're doing fine. Really? We don't need you. <clears throat> See this? See this right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This says, I am better than you. Actually, it says Chris Jericho. <laughs> you want, you want, you want, what? You want to come up here and say poetry's just fine? Oh, well, maybe you should prove it. All right. Okay. Let me draw you a, de a Venn diagram. Circle over here represents the sum total of my beeswax. It's solid, most of it. Some of it, not so much, but all of it's mine. This circle over here. Uh, way over here, that's your beeswax. Mm. Notice how the circles don't overlap. Mm. See, we are not beeswax partners. We are not in beeswax together. We are not even in the same beeswax separately. Yours is yours and mine is mine. So why are you all up in my beeswax? Got your nose tilted up in the air looking down at my beeswax. I do not invite you to poke, sniff, lick, or otherwise analyze my beeswax. I don't crowdsource my beeswax criticism. But as long as we're talking shop, let me say this. I handle my beeswax. I handle my beeswax. My honey is golden and sweet. My hive is healthy. You need not worry about my beeswax. My beeswax is good. On the other hand, I can see from here your honey is dim and almost like a burnt orange color. Your hive is on the brink of colony collapse. You should worry, because none of that is good for beeswax. I would suggest you take preventative measures. In short, mind your own. Tend your garden, as they say, but I won't meddle any further, as I said before. My beeswax is none of yours. Okay, I'll see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I got something for you. Because you see, there used to be a heart in here. <clears throat> what? There used to be a heart in here. When words were said, they held their meaning. Nowadays, words fall like rain, nothing is said, and no one's listening. They're all too busy chasing Miley or bitching about Kanye West. They never take the time to notice that art is dead and we all killed it. We used to create work, works of passion, songs and pictures that convey feelings. I can't believe we have fully lost that. But I don't believe that art is dead. Let's give it up for Daria Quinn and Dan Woo! So that was a little preview of what we're going to try to do. Uh, Writing Night on uh, July 13th will present their very first sword fight. That's a little s, big W. So sword fight. Sword, like sword fight. If 
that yes. wasn't obvious. Yes. Oh. I'll, I'll spell it on the screen for the <laughs> online people. It'll be better in writing. It'd be, it, it's, yeah. it's totally better in writing. Yeah. But then the writing nights of the story. But anyway, our first competition will be J.M. Romain versus Daria Quinn. Everyone should come out for that. It will be an amazing time, and if anyone else is looking to compete in one of these uh, arrangements, please let me know. But another round of applause. Friday night. Friday night.